What is up, Dong Army? It's your boy Royce. Currently, my wife Jackie is out on a run on a beautiful uh, sunny day in Philadelphia. You can hear the birds chirping, maybe. And I thought, wow, now is like the perfect time to just stay indoors close the blinds and film a YouTube video. So uh, here I am. So first of all, I just want to say that I don't think photographic memory, you know, in the way that people tend to think of it is really a thing. I don't think it exists for most people. And what I mean by that is I don't think people can just conjure up, I don't know, episodes in their mind from hours ago, days ago, weeks ago, and just be able to recall, you know, what color this thing was. What I'm talking about in this video as an MD PhD student is photographic memory in terms of visual memory, really good spatial memory when it comes to, for example, recalling, you know, a figure from anatomy lectures, when it comes to recalling a very complicated scientific diagram, you know, where there's a lot of spatial information there, like, oh, in the top right corner of this painting or this figure was this object with this name. As an MD PhD student, I see thousands of figures in medicine, in science, through classes, through you know science seminars, through science presentations. This kind of skill to remember the spatial information of figures, having that kind of you know quote unquote photographic memory uh, can be really helpful. So I'm gonna break it down into three levels. I'm gonna be using a lot of techniques that I previously talked about in my video, how I memorize anything in five minutes, active recall, space repetition, the Feynman technique, memory palace, etc. cetera. Uh, link will pop up in the corner. So let's say you're given a diagram of anatomy from your um, anatomy lectures, which I guess makes sense. Level one is removing all the labels, but keeping the picture and then writing in the labels yourself. And so what you're doing here is you're practicing active recall. Um, just like I talked about in my previous video, you can do callbacks um, and that gets in space repetition. So you can you know move on from one thing to the next and then you know every so often call back to previous things. And uh, you, know, you can be talking out loud to yourself. That's the Feynman technique. I would go linearly if you can, and then you can practice afterward to go backwards you know, start at random spots. And uh, this incorporates the uh, spatial information that is key to the method of loci. That's essentially level one. Level two is doing this exact same thing, except now you don't even have the picture. You have no picture, no labels. You just have a blank, you know, canvas, you're the artist. And all you'll do for level two is drawing the structures yourself and then labeling them. There's no kind of guidance, no hints, anything like that. It's purely just conjuring it up from the depths of your brain. And finally, Level three would be simply just imagining this in your head. No paper, no pencil, no hints. Like I said with the previous techniques, try to go in order one to two to three, maybe do some random callbacks to one, back to two, and start from there. And once you finish uh, linearly, starting in the middle, then going forward, starting in the middle, then going back, things like that. I talk about all of these techniques in my previous video on how I memorize anything in five minutes. And I also work through a complicated medical school example using the techniques in real time. Although these three levels are very quick, I wouldn't do all of them for everything I memorize. Most of the time, I just skip to step three and I just try to imagine things in my mind. And if I fail to, then I'll just look back at the diagram and start over and continue to try to imagine the picture in my mind. And with some practice, I can really memorize these pictures for the long term. And by the end of this, I guarantee you'll have a very good, you know, photograph of this in your mind because what you're doing is, is you're doing these basic, you know, memory uh, principles and uh, applying it, extending it. Obviously this is really great for, you know, spatial kinds of information you're trying to remember. So like anatomy is a great one. You could even do it for like physics or chemistry and just try to remember, you know, shapes and objects and these, you know, proofs. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys found it helpful and I'll see you guys next week.